Welcome back to the Law Office of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Haley Knighton, and today we're diving into the topic of aggravated assault in the state of Texas. It's a serious charge that carries serious consequences, so it's important to understand the legal aspects and potential defensive strategies. In this video, we'll explore what constitutes aggravated assault, the different degrees of the charge, and how to fight against it. So let's get started. Did you know that aggravated assault in Texas can result in two to 20 years of imprisonment and fines of up to $10,000? Imagine the impact this could have on your life. But fear not, because in this video, we'll discuss some key defensive strategies that can help you fight an aggravated assault charge effectively. Let's start by understanding what exactly constitutes aggravated assault in Texas. It involves causing serious bodily injury or using or exhibiting a deadly weapon during the assault. Serious bodily injury includes long-term loss of any part of the body, permanent disfigurement, or even death. Examples of permanent disfigurement could be scarring from dog bites or burns caused by fire or chemicals. Now let's talk about the degrees of aggravated assault. As previously mentioned, a second degree felony can result in two to 20 years of imprisonment and fines up to $10,000. However, if the assault is committed against specific parties like a spouse, police officer, school officer, judge, or attorney, it can escalate to a first degree felony, carrying a sentence of five to 99 years or even life imprisonment. Now that we understand the severity of the charge, Let's explore defensive strategies that can help you fight against an aggravated assault accusation. One strategy is to try to lower the charge to simple assault, which carries less severe penalties. Your defense attorney can work on building a strong case to support this argument. Another defensive strategy is presenting an alibi. An alibi is a witness who can prove you were elsewhere at the time the alleged assault took place. For example, if you were at work during the incident, documentation and eyewitnesses can testify to your absence from the scene, strengthening your defense. Self-defense is a commonly used defensive type of strategy in an aggravated assault case. The Texas Penal Code Section 9.32 justifies the use of deadly force if you reasonably believe it's necessary to protect yourself or others from deadly force, robbery, assault, or murder. A real life example could be someone discharging their weapon to save a child from abduction. In certain situations, protecting a third person can also be a valid defense. If the use of deadly force was necessary to protect another person and your intervention was necessary for their safety, this defensive strategy can be employed. Additionally, the Protection of Life or Health Defense Penal Code Section 9.34b allows you to use force and deadly force to the extent you reasonably believe is necessary to preserve another person's life in an emergency. This defense could be applicable when faced with immediate danger and acting to protect someone's life. Defense of property is another claim you can make, but it requires substantial evidence that the force used to protect your property was necessary. Keep in mind the Texas law of stand your ground. This may not always be upheld, so it's important to have a strong defensive strategy and evidence to support your claim. Remember, when facing an aggravated assault charge, it's crucial to have a knowledgeable criminal defense lawyer by your side. They can guide you through the legal process, help you understand the charges and potential plea bargains, and prepare you for your court appearance. That's all for today's video on fighting against an aggravated assault charge in Texas. If you or someone you know is facing such a charge, it's essential to consult with an experienced criminal defense attorney to protect your rights. If you need assistance with a criminal case or want to schedule a free consultation, contact the Law Office of Brian Fagan. Our team of dedicated attorneys are ready to help you navigate the legal system and fight for the best possible outcome. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both helpful and informative for you. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. So please let us know how we can help you with your family law, estate planning, or criminal defense matters by calling our office today at 281-310-5563 to schedule your complimentary consultation. You can find all of our social media info in the description below. And if you would like to stay updated on all of our videos, events, and promotions, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the notification bell.